you can start. I can start. Man, yeah. I was extremely impressed. It was my first time in Belgrade and, and as well my first exploration of the Serbian wines and seeing the diversity I mean, I was, you know, I had preconceived idea like any probably Western Europeans and me South African. We had absolutely no clue what to expect. And I've been happily surprised by, by the, the lifestyle, the, the quality of the food, the quality of the service, the quality of the wines. I was really deeply impressed, yeah. And, and so flawless, the organization. So happy. Yeah. And as we spoke before, the food is still as uh, delicious as I remember from the last time. Uh, I tasted more wines now. And actually, I'm impressed of the quality of the wines, especially of the whites. And it's also been very um, interesting to see the diversity of the vineyards. And actually, I'm staying for two more days to visit vineyards. And it's also fantastic to be in these old surroundings here. Uh, and uh, actually, the committee has done all the arrangements. They should have all the applause because they've done a fantastic work. And it's also for me, I still will bring Serbia home in my heart with the hospitality and, you know, the friendliness. But you know, I think I know that. <laughs> yeah. What would you recommend in few words to somebody who's coming here for the first time? I'll be back. <laughs> 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 no, I, I, it's uh, come with no preconceived ID. Just, just l l try to blend yourself into Serbian lifestyle and then you can really enjoy it completely. So don't expect anything, just explore. Uh, I would say go local, speak to the local people. Uh, uh, and speak to people. You speak Serbian now? No. <laughs> uh. No, but actually because uh, Serbian people are very friendly and very helpful. And if you go local, you really can see, see the diversity of this beautiful country. So go local, I would say. <laughs>